Hey friends, welcome or welcome back. Today I'm going to be taking you through my morning chore routine with all the animals. I haven't been able to record too much for the last couple of days because it has been so cold. We had a horrible cold snap, but now that we're just getting out of it, I thought I would record my chore morning routine. If you're excited for this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss anything. Let's go. Okay, I'm in the garage trying to decide what to put on for chores this morning. It was really cold for the longest time, and right now it is 8 degrees, but it feels like negative 1, which is pretty warm compared to what we had for a while. So I don't think I'm going to put on all of my winter gear, but I'm trying to decide what to wear and what not to wear. <laughs> okay, I've decided what I'm wearing. Hopefully I don't get too cold, but let's go feed the animals. Good morning, pigs. Hi. Looks like they're eating their breakfast. So the pigs did great during the cold. They have these two barns. They use the one in the back. It is full of hay. So they are just cozy in there the whole time. They did so great throughout all the cold. There you go. <laughs> they're gonna fight over it. Good morning, Nugget. Hi, are you hungry? It's America! You look so cute! She wants food. That's all she ever wants. So I always feed the horses first thing because we need to stick to a good routine with them so that they don't colic or anything. So I always take care of the horses first thing. So I'm gonna grab their grain first and then go feed it to them. Good morning! Hi! Get in your buckets. So the girls each get half a scoop of grain two times a day. I always have to wet Selena's grain because she gets choke, which is where the grain kind of gets stuck in her throat and she has to cough it back up. I always put some water in her grain so that it goes down smoothly and then there aren't any problems. Wow, it's not frozen this morning. Spots has the blue bucket. And Selena gets the green one. While the horses are eating their grain, I always grab their hay bags and fill those up for them. Okay, so this is a hay situation right now. It's kind of a mess. Okay, now I gotta carry these all the way up to the horses. Back up, back. You really want this hay on you? Back, back up. So I always try and feed the girls as much hay as possible. I stuff their hay bags up as much as I can because both of them are on the older side. Selena is 19 and Spots is about 25, but because they're older, they're a little bit harder keepers, so it's not as easy to keep weight on them. I always give them a lot of hay, and then in the summer, they have as much grass as they could ever want. You can see that they have really thick winter coats, which is a good sign. It means they're getting a lot of nutrition. After I give them their hay, I always open up their gates so that they can get out, or they can just stay in here and eat, but Selena does not like to be in her stall very much, but she'd rather be out, which is normal for her. Horses. Spots doesn't care at all. She loves her stall. Watch her go and eat Selena's. Yep, she's always got to have the other hay. I dumped some hay down there last night. Are you itchy? <laughs> you look so funny. Oh my gosh. And then we have Gertie over here and all the other cows eating the hay. Does that feel good? 
Okay, the next step is to fill up the horse's water. Okay, the horses are finally done. Now we can move on to the goats and all the other animals. I'm sure you can hear the little buckling screaming at me because he wants his grain, so let's go feed them. What? <laughs> are you that hungry? Hi. Let's go. There you go. Are you happy now? So these guys, if you don't know, I've been trying to kind of make them friendlier. This guy could not be any friendlier. Like, he is so friendly. And then these two have always been a little bit shy, but because I'm feeding them grain, they're definitely warming up to me. This one is definitely the most shy. But they're all doing really good. Time to feed the cats. They're all meowing at me here, so let's feed them. The cats do prefer to eat the food out of the bowls, but eventually the ducks will come in and they'll start eating out of those bowls, so the cats will have to move on top of the cans so that they can eat without being disturbed. I actually gave the ducks this grain last night and I don't think they ever found it. They watched me dump it. It's grain, come eat it. I would have thought they would have found it by now. Okay, time to feed these guys. Morning. Some of the goats are outside enjoying the sun. Maui is always all up in my space. He never stays back. He's like always right on top of me, jumping on me and it gets annoying. Okay, so I just take this hay from here and I throw it right in there and I feed them two times a day. Hi, Brownie. Hello. America, I know, I know you're hungry, I know. <laughs> She's so silly. Yes, yes, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> She does this every morning. I don't know if you can hear that, but the ducks are definitely eating the cat's food. It used to be super loud like thunder, but they figured out how to be more quiet and sneaky, hoping that I won't hear them, but I definitely hear them. Look at him waiting right at the gate for me to come out. There's one of the chickens. Isaac feeds them at nighttime, and he feeds the dogs too. They always get covered in hay. Look at America. Look at the hay all over her. You're covered in hay. They're messy eaters, that's for sure. Hi, chickens. Okay, now I need to check their water. Maui. Maui. It froze over the last couple of days and we had to feed them from a plastic container, but it looks just fine right now. I could get used to this weather, I know. It's not super warm compared to other places, but here in Iowa, compared to what we just had, this weather is luxury. What? You had your green. So this hole is here because almost a year ago, the girls were in that area and Romeo broke through this fence and got in with the girls and bred one of them, which was not good. So speaking of pregnant goats, as you can tell, our buck is in with their girls and he has been since fall. So this spring, we should be having a bunch of baby goats, which is so exciting. I'm so excited. Baby goats are the cutest and the funniest and the sweetest things ever. Hi! These guys in their winter coats are so cute. Okay, I wanna see if I can pick up Sven, the blue roan buckling. I wanna see if he'll let me pick him up. I'm sure he will. Let's see what happens. There we go, look at him. He's so calm. I love this boy so much. He's just chilling. I picked him up so many times when he was just a little baby, but he's not so tiny anymore. You want down now? Okay. He did so good. I am so surprised. He is like bomb proof. He is the best thing ever. I feel like goats get a bad reputation because people think they eat everything like cans. I think our most mouthy goat that we have is Buttercup and she just kind of likes to nibble your fingers and stuff because that's her way of saying, hey, I want food. <laughs> You're so silly. 
I love this guy so much. When we had our baby goats this fall, we named them all after Disney names. So this guy we named Sven. And then that guy right there is Mickey because his little sister was the tiniest ever. So we named her Minnie. And then that other one back there is Woody. But I feel like that doesn't really go anymore just because like we don't have all their siblings anymore. So if you have any like new name ideas, put them down below in the comments. I just feel like we could get some names that suit these guys better. They are totally comfortable with my presence now just because I'm in here with them all the time. Everyone's doing great. Oh. Why'd you do that? She was eating. So yeah, those were basically my morning chores. I definitely do different stuff at night. So if you would like to see a night routine, please let me know because I will gladly do a night routine. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the animals. I think we're definitely getting our routine down good. Even though winter is definitely hard and I hate winter, it is the time where I get to spend like more time with the animals because they're all up in barns and they're all up in this general area. All the animals, like any animals that are a little shy, like um, those baby goats and the cows, they get to spend more time around me and they get more used to my presence. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my chores. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss anything. And comment down below if you would like to see a night routine. Thanks for watching. Bye.